Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. This is the Pro Wrestling Show review show for WWE Evolution, which was, man, live. it was the all women's pay-per-view event for WWE, the first time ever pay-per-view that WWE has strictly for women. No men, just women. Just women from all three brands. Um, uh, past, present, future, it was all there. And Evolution kicked off with the rock band. I forgot their names, but they started singing Evolution, which, um, you know, I called to attention of the show, Evolution. And then the match, first match of the night, kicked off with Trish Stratus and Lita coming out with that big nostalgia pop, as you can see and you can feel it. Um, when they took on Alexa Fo Alicia Fox and Mickey James, good matchup to kick off the show. Um, many people in the crowd told Trish she still got it. Trish bringing a new um, arsenal to her repertoire with the wheelbarrow roll. Mita at the end, Lita hit Mickey and Alicia Fox out, and Mickey James got up like a chair and took that scratch faction, and Trish covered her for the one, two, three, and that was it. It was like re the days of glory again, reliving, seeing Trish Scratch, seeing Lita back in the fall for WWE for just one night, and it was one magical night for both of them. And I'm um, happy, and Alexa Bliss got involved too. We didn't want to forget her. She played an important role in that match too. But, you know, at the end, Lita and Trish got the job done. So, that was a good thing. Then we move forward to the Battle Royal, where women from the past, present, and future all came together to compete for a chance for the Women's Championship, a future championship shot. But at the end, Nia Jax eliminated um, Ember Moon, and secured herself a Raw Women's Championship match with the Raw Women's Champion, who that may have be, but we'll talk about that later on in the future. And Naya giving her spiel about um, and being empowered and having confidence and showing fearlessness that Nia Jax always does. But it was interesting at Battle Roy where you saw uh, Laundra Blaze, you saw Molly Holly, you saw Maria Canales, you saw Zelina Vega from the future. You saw um, the Riot Squad. No, the Riot Squad wasn't in that battle royale. Um, it was a it was a, a um, Oscar. You saw Naomi from the prison. Lana, um, the Iconics. You know, it was just a Payne Royce, Bill K. It was just a crop of women from the past and present. They all came together, and it was, you know. At the end, Nia Jax emerged victorious and earns herself a Raw Women's Championship match. Now we move forward to the Mae Young Classic, where Iro Sharon went against Tony Storm, which it was a hard fought matchup for both ladies to get to this level and this point. And at the end, Tony Storm won the Mae Young Classic. And won the trophy and I won a bunch of flowers and support and praise from Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, and Sarah DeMaio, who's been on the forefront of the women's evolution in the behind the scenes in WWE. And it was nice to see that. And then on to the NXT Women's Championship. The first time ever the NXT Women's Championship being defended on WWE pay-per-view. For the first time ever, and it happened in Evolution. Always happened on the WWE Network all the time. Well, this time we're no different. As Kyrie Singh defends her title against challenger Shayna Baszler. But at the, it was going good. But at the end, Kyrie lost her opportunity for the Women's Championship after interference from Shayna's friends, Jessica Duke and Maria Sharola. Jessica Duke and Maria Sharola. Now, we're trying to play an integral part into Shayna Baszler becoming the first woman in NXT history to win the Women's Championship twice. Now, that never happened before as the NXT Women's Championship never changed hands twice. But it did on that night when Shayna Baszler made history. 
Speaking of somebody making history as Naomi, not Naomi, but um, Sasha Banks, um, Bailey and Natalia team up in six woman action against the Riot Squad. Hey, the match was fast and furious in the jump, but at the end, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Natalia pick up the win. And, you know, hey, that was a good six woman tag team matchup. Seeing Sasha back after a lot of folks was questioning her uh, absence, absence for a long time. So Sasha Banks was back. Also, at Evolution, the SmackDown Women's Championship was on the line as ba as Becky Lynch defended her championship against Charlotte Flair in a last woman standing match. You know, all these both women went nonstop. They took each other to the brink. They left their bodies out laying. You know, at the end, Becky Lynch emerged victorious after she had she lost her first tire tire ran to Alexa Bliss. She power bombed Charlotte through the table and Charlotte was not unable to make a ten make it to the ten count and Charlotte lost her championship. Not Charlotte, but Becky, Charlotte lost a chance at becoming champion again. My fault, we just going on the on the fly. So Becky Lynch moves forward to Survivor Series where she will meet the winner of the Raw Women's Championship match. Well, at the end, the main event was Ronda Rousey be defending her championship against Nikki Bella. Now, Ronda and Nikki Bella kind of came quick, fast friends in a minute. And then Nikki Bella, after Super Showdown, turned on her and let her attention on that she's here to uh, take the Women's Championship. But Ronda turned around and said she's a DMB, a do-nothing Bella, and even alluded that the only reason she got to the top is because she slept her way through the top with John Cena. Well, that was kind of too whole and too harsh, but at the end, hey, uh, Ronda Rousey know how to um, be effective when she don't think she is effective. But at the end, Ronda, that one moment was Ronda picked up um, both Nikki and Brie and did her move and dropped both Bellas out of the ring. And Ronda capitalized and used that arm bra on Nikki, and Nikki was done. She was done for the count. Wow, <laughs> she was done. I mean, she was literally done. And then Ronda Rousey won her match. Uh, easy title defense. I think this is Ronda's third title defense. Second or third, I think. Some, yeah. This is her second title defense, and she did well. And Ronda comes appearing going to the stage to meet up with all the women from the past, present, and future to all celebrate what a historic night it was in WWE, and then the historic night was Evolution. And no fairly um, honorable mention too was that during that Battle Royal, um, now um, Tamina and Ron, um, Nia Jax did a homage to Roman Reigns when he does this, the power move, where well, they did a homage to Roman Reigns and it all it was, it was, it was nice. It was a nice presentation. Everything went accordingly as planned, and no, no matter what, I'm happy. I think it'll be a second evolution. Believe I will tell you that. All right, that does it for the pro wrestling show review show for Evolution. Don't forget this weekend we have the pro wrestling show where we talk about Raw SmackDown. Yeah, and um, the other hot topic news. We'll have this and more. But for now, I've been Ken Dixon. So long, and we'll see you next time here on Pro Wrestling Show.